Hello and good morning guys and welcome to our uh, 12th session in our subject uh, ITAS1 and we are now on our uh, week number 13 so our topic for this morning is about polymorphism and interfaces so we are now on our unit 2 uh, chapter 9 uh, introduction to object oriented programming so before we start our uh, lecture for this morning uh, our objectives are as follows. Number one, identify data components and behaviors of multiple ab date abstract data types. Number two, apply the use of keywords, data types, and variables in a program. Number three, design an interface for a specific program incorporated with different elements, data types, and variables. And number four, analyze the process of visual programming and graphical user interface design. Now for polymorphism, um, it is often referred to as the third pillar of object-oriented programming. Why? Because uh, after encapsulation and inheritance, um, object-oriented programming or in polymorphism is often expressed in one interface multiple function. And uh, polymorphism means having many forms. And like we specified in previous chapter, Inheritance lets us inherit fields and methods, mga attributes, bala, ka parent from child to parent, no? Or parent to child. And polymorphism naman uses those methods to perform different tasks. So this allows us to perform a single action in different ways. So in C sharp, polymorphism means providing an ability to take more than one form, and it is one of the main pillar or concepts of OOP or the or the object oriented programming. So it is also a combination of two words, that is poly, uh, one that is morph, and um, multiple. Uh, it means um, multiple form. So polymorphism provides an ability for the classes to implement different methods that are called through the same name. And it also provides an ability to invoke the method of the derived class through base class reference during runtime based on our requirements. So in C-sharp again, we have no or two different kinds of polymorphism available. Those are number one, compile time date polymorphism, and number two is runtime polymorphism. So take note that compile time uh, polymorphism, first topic, is can be achieved by using method overloading, and it is also used early binding or static binding. So again, um, Time polymorphism der uh, derive the meaning from the same name with different parameters. So this is by using compile time polymorphism. So an example of the pol uh, um, compile time is the example 21a, and it has a syntax of public class calculate, a public void add numbers, and public void add numbers into a variable of a plus b and A plus B plus C. So let us see if we can uh, deal with the example. So I think let's discuss the code first before we proceed with the online IDE. So we have coding 121A using system. Okay, so we're using tootlane as namespace. Tootlane is the variable, no? So public class is uh, to calculate the uh, integer value because you have add numbers int A and int B. So A is declared as integer, same as B. And the display for this on the right line console. So you have A plus B uh, equals zero uh, A plus B variables. We have also add numbers in A and B and C tatlo. So we have right line, we're going to have A plus B plus C as function name uh, congruent to the uh, variable um, right line. Okay, so we have also the class program for the static void main or the string of the ERJS. The formula for this is calculate C and the new calculate. We're going to add 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 and then exit the uh, press any key for the exit. So simple programming lang. Okay, so we're going to copy this. And we're going to... Uh, type in online ID. So same as usual, we're going to use CodeChef for our uh, compiler. Okay, uh, let's wait for the online ID to run or to
Okay, let's run the online ID again. I'm sorry for the waiting, guys, for the waiting time, guys, because um ang gabi siyo ang internet natin tulad. So Excuse me. Okay, so let's run again the online IDE. Okay, so arat na siya. Okay, so while waiting for the online IDE, guys, let's go back to the code. And let, we're going to discuss ang sa time runtime polymorphism. For the runtime polymorphism, this is a runtime overriding the class method and derived class by creating a similar function and this can be viewed or achieved by using override and virtual keywords. So along with this, we have the dynamic binding or what we call the parameter to perform different tasks also. Okay, so... Um, we're on uh, runtime polymorphism. It's also an uh, uh, a similar to compile time, no. And then later on, uh, what we have going to have another activity for this for the uh, 22 is the um, inheritance uh, interfaces interfaces. So the coding 112 will provide for the interfaces later on. So as I've said, medyo pareho lang just and kadang ano guys kadang. Uh, time runtime polymorphism. Now, if you're going to ask, din una, no? compile time or runtime. So, una na guys ang compile time uh, polymorphism, then it will be followed by the runtime. No? So, hindi, tandaan nyo, hindi ka run ang program, guys, kung hindi nyo na mapa compile. Okay, so the same thing that we did last time. So, going back to our example, no? so let's uh, yeah, choose C sharp. And then we're going to paste the copied code. Okay, so let us see uh, kung magran siya. Okay, so this one. Now, if we're going to press any key, uh, ano na, okay na siya. So this one. Now you can actually uh, change this, like for example, 11. So you can add also uh, 22. This one is uh, 11, 22, and 33. So let us see kung ano yung gawa na. Then run the program. Okay, so this one is the output. Okay? Okay, so that that's give you an idea of... Uh, the uh, compile time polymorphism. So we are not going to discuss anymore the runtime. Okay, I'm only going to discuss natin bago lang. And we don't need to copy the code again because our, most of the time they are almost similar. Ang um, ano lang is the tandaan niyo, compile time or the compiling of the code is running first before the runtime. Okay. So let's go to interfaces because we have still a lot of things to discuss about interfaces, no? And if you're going to define interfaces, so it is a syntactical contract that all the classes and everything the interface should follow. So the interface define the what part of the syntactical contract. So magamagamong guys nga syntactical. This refers to the uh, the syntax or the kung paano niya siya isulat. So this one is the syntax, and this one is for the interfaces, no? Public interface, IT transactions, uh, and then we have the interface numbers, void show transaction, double get amount, and close. So this is this is just a simple code on the interfaces, and syntactically, magamal uh, kama syntactically ang syntax ang ginarefer naton, and this is uh, the interfaces are defining the properties, the methods, and events which are the members of the interface. 
And tandaan niyo, uh, interface is similar to your GUI, no? Or the uh, GUI is a kind of interface. We're in ang GUI niyo is the graphical user interface. Mag ang una niyo guys, makita sa sa screen ka ano niyo mag on ka mo computer niyo is the GUI or the graphical user interface. Meaning to say, jan ka mo naga respond or naga interact sa monitor no so GUI na siya so that is a kind of interface now abstraction classes we have extend serve the same purposes however they are mostly used only to few methods which are declared by the base class and deriving class implements and functionalities so when you refer to the classes ang interface can be a method a property an event again uh, pareho ka class bala Dumdumaan ninyo class and object, no? Dumdumaan ninyo ang attribute na tabla. Na. So, these are the interfaces. Can also have methods, no? Properties, events, and indexers as its members. So, uh, methods, properties, events, indexers. Those, these are the clients of interfaces that you will encounter later on in programming. So, just take note that interfaces will contain only the declaration of the numbers and that the implementation of the interface number or members would be given by the class who implements the interface implicitly or explicitly. So when you speak about implicitly, this gina imply mo gid nga mo daya value na. Uh, explicit naman is why mo gina pirit, uh, gina tago mo lang siya. So to declare an interface, use the interface keyword and it is used to provide total abstraction and that the mean all the members in the interfaces are declared with an empty body and are public abstract by default. So, a class that implements interface must implement all the methods declared in an interface also. So, take note also that interfaces are like abstract classes and they are shared in the, the fact that no instance, instances of them can be created, only designed. So, that's what I told you last time, or kagina, when we speak about interfaces, these are the things that you see or interact uh, within the... Uh, computer and you. Na. So that is the simple, simple explanation of what are interfaces. So going to the code for interfaces, guys, is on activity number 22. And the example of this are as follows. So you have coding 112. And these are using system collections or generic. Uh, these are uh, mojaya dang library again recall mo. Usually system dato, guys, no? Pero may subpon siya. Uh, link, text. So, tantaon ko na nagwa na karon. We also have namespace interface application. So this is the name of the program interface application. And we have IT transactions for public interface, show transactions for the void and get amount for the double. So magambal ka mo void guys is back to zero day ah. Magambal ka mo double means double the amount that you wanted to declare. For the public class transaction, for the transaction, IT transaction is different from transactions, okay? So these are separated by the intermediary word IT transaction and transaction lang. So those are two different words. Okay. So we have also um, private string, T code, date, and amount. For the double amount, private double amount, magamala mo private is the declaration for a private variable meaning global na siya. So we have also transaction and the formula is T code is equivalent to this one, the date and the amount. So the same thing with the console for the transaction, the date and the amount. So karon makita ninyo, we have the transaction, the date and the amount. Kay makita ninyo sa console ang maday agagwa. As I've said, ang console is the medium and the command for that is right line. So right line is gina display na ang value sa screen ninyo. Okay, so let's see if maparan na itong dayang uh, program or dayang uh, code. So let's copy this and go to the online compiler. So again, the same thing. Delete this one and paste the new code. Now take note that there's no code to be edited. Let us see if that, uh, the, the code that you copy-pasted is running. Okay, all right. So we have the transaction, the date, and the amount, and the same thing. Transaction one, transaction two. Okay, so you can actually edit it. So using this one. 
So you have transaction. You can change the values if you want and the date and the value for the variable. So thank you very much, guys, for watching our activity for this week. And hopefully that you will run your program. And um, God bless, guys. See you next time. And uh, please don't forget to comment to present on YouTube for your attendance. So good, um, good morning and God bless.